Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel where I try to bring you a wide variety of computer DIY upgrade and repair videos. In this video, I'm gonna be working on an Acer Chromebook C720 series computer. The exact model is a C720-2103, but this should apply, the procedure here should apply to any C720 series laptop. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to open your computer to access your battery or your solid state drive. Okay, so first thing to do when getting in any computer, shut it off, unplug the power adapter, and remove the battery. Uh, our battery's inside, so we gotta take off our, our panel first, but you wanna do those things because you wanna have as little power running through the computer as possible uh, to limit the chances of, of damaging anything. So first thing we're gonna do now is go across the bottom panel, take off all the screws that we can see, Just as a quick shout out guys, the anti-static pad that I'm using, you see it under the computer, uh, that's to prevent any damage to computer components when you're getting into it. Either an anti-static pad or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas when working on a computer. So for those supplies and also any tools, screwdrivers, pry tools, anything that you guys need help with, check out the link above. It'll be a referral link to uh, a lot of the tools and supplies I use in my shop if you want help finding any of those things. The screw in the middle had one of those Acer warranty stickers on it. So if you have that, you may have to um, dig it out a little bit before the screw can come off. Now that all of my screws are gone, I'm gonna take my small flat pry tool. I'm gonna go along the seam of the bottom case and the palm rest and pry up this bottom case. So when you're putting your pry tool in there, make sure you don't go too deep. You don't wanna damage any components by going too far in, but you'd basically just go along the outside seam and separate them. Once you've got it mostly off, you should be able to just muscle it out the rest of the way. Again, be, be careful, you don't wanna break it. Once you've gotten it all free, it'll come off like this. There are no electrical components here, it's just a panel. So now you can put that off to the side. So now we're at the first stage of inside the computer. You see your battery right here, your motherboard, your fan, your speakers. Uh, you have various components that you can find here, your solid state drive right there. Uh, so now we're gonna unplug the battery. For those of you looking for a replacement battery, you can see the model number right there in, in the corner. This is an AP13J3K battery. Uh, you can see it's 11.25 volts, 45 watt. Uh, that's the kind of battery you'd be looking for if you're trying to replace this battery. So to remove the battery, it's fairly simple. You've got a screw here and a screw here. Uh, on mine, it's broken off, so I, I may not need to, yeah, I, I don't need to remove that screw, but you have two screws here you'd have to remove, and the battery plugs in right there. So I'm gonna take my Phillips, I'm gonna unscrew this battery, and then it unplugs right there. I'll zoom in a little more so you can see that port. So there's your battery port. The battery port is black and metal, and the battery plug that plugs into it is white, and if you guys look at yours, there's two little arms that come out from the white port. So you can put your fingernails there and push, or in my case, I'm gonna take my flat pry tool, I'm gonna to push off on one side at a time, and that battery comes right out. Over here, you have your solid state drive. I'm gonna take my Phillips screwdriver, undo that single screw. After that screw is undone, we're just gonna take the solid state drive and, and pull it back just a little bit, it comes undone and then you wiggle it out from underneath these metal arms that are holding it down. So there's your solid state drive to this computer. I'm not sure which one you guys have, sometimes they're different, but if you're looking for a replacement, this is a 16 gigabyte solid state drive, 3.3 uh, volt, 0.6 amp, and there's various model numbers there. You can try searching for those, or you can just try searching for uh, one of them compatible with this model computer. To get the solid state drive back in, we set down our solid state drive, in those metal brackets and then slide it into the port there and then we bring back over our screw and screw that down. So there's the battery, it sets down in place there. Apparently this computer, this battery screw is, is broken and this one is also broken from the threading so unfortunately for my computer there's no way to fasten this down but I can take this plug, plug it back into the port Put it there nice and flush sideways and then press in. And then you'd set the battery back in place. You guys would screw it in place. I can't screw it in place. You would then bring the bottom case back over, snap it into place, 
and then replace all of your screws. And you're all done. So that's the video guys, pretty straightforward. It's not too complicated, but it does help to watch a video first, help to know what you're getting into before you start taking your computer apart. Uh, any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you have to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to address those as often as possible. Please remember to like and share if this was helpful. Subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer content. Thank you so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.